Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include EU energy saving grant money wasted Pro-Europe supporters call in the heavy artillery World Future Energy Summit keynote delivered by EU Commissioner EU referendum may not even happen at all Plus, Dr Eric Edmund is back with a viewpoint on the Bank of International Settlements. I'm Rick Timmis and this is The Unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage. It appears that reporters have now discovered that the Green Movement, and in particular energy-saving projects, have squandered EU money on inappropriate projects that will never see the return on investment in the lifetime of the buildings. This article digs into the real truth behind a botched implementation of the Green Agenda. As ever, we're not talking chump change, with current expenditure of 5 billion euros and a Commission proposal to increase this to 17 billion. Europhiles are ramping up the pro-EU campaign as fears of a referendum and potential EU exit loom large on the horizon. Pulling out the stops with an apparent threat from the US government that if Britain leaves the EU, it's on its own, this story digs deep into the reciprocal rhetoric flying back and forth between both camps. No doubt this story is going to continue to escalate. We'll keep you updated as it develops. EU Commissioner Hedgart has delivered a keynote address at the Future Energy Summit in Abu Dhabi. This article covers the key details of this global conference being hosted in the Middle East. This area of global summits and operating under the sombrero of the United Nations continues to increase and demonstrates the desire and commitment of politicians globally to seek a new world order. Are we seeing the first steps in the creation of a one world government? Will David Cameron and the UK government really hold a referendum on Britain and the EU? In this article, George Eaton looks into the murky waters of political spin and posturing. David Cameron appears to be dithering while the Federalists are ransacking the bank. However, the longer Cameron delays, the more the public are being made aware of the corruption, gaming, dishonesty, fraud and tyranny that is at work throughout Europe. Whether Cameron calls a referendum or not, ultimately, it's down to us to decide. Will we be a United Kingdom, independent and proud, or a European federal region in the family of the Union? Well, I'm delighted that he's back to make sense of the fiscal fudgery at play as our kleptocratic brainiacs in Brussels thrash in the nets trying to save their Orwellian dream. Yes, Dr Eric Edmund has returned with a new article on the Bank of International Settlements. We're desperately trying to encourage Dr Edmund to get more in-depth and animated with us here at the unit, and I'm sure a few words of encouragement from our community wouldn't go amiss. Please take a look at Eric's latest article as he dissects the devil from the detail and do let us have your thoughts and comments. Today in our video library, the UK and the EU, in or out. This quick-fire question and answer debate by Euronews considers that question. That's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website at www.theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the E Unit, and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can, of course, join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. And finally, our The Word programme is active again. If you would like one of our public speakers to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area, then get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon.